Within this lesson, we will solve word problems using decimal operations. Let's take a moment to read this problem together. Mr. Fry distributed $126 equally among his four children for their weekly allowance. How much money did each child receive? First off, who is this problem about? Right, Mr. Fry and his children. What is it about? Did you say money? Let's draw a bar to represent Mr. Fry's money. How much money did he have? Right, $126. What else do we have to do with this bar to adjust the model? Well, there's four children, and they're each sharing an equal amount. Let's divide the bar into four equal parts. What's the question again? Right, how much money did each child receive? That's the unknown. We should put a question mark inside one of these parts. How many of these unit bars is equal to 126? Right, four. So four units equals 126 so one unit is going to be $126 divided by 4. And let's do that work. 4 goes into 12 three whole times. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. Bring down the 6. 6 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. I'll add some decimal places. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So it's $31.50 for one unit. Each child receives $31.50. Here's the second problem there. So John now taking his allowance. His allowance was $31.50. He didn't want to do his chores. He decides to pay it equally to his brother and two sisters. That's how many people? Three. So $31.50 is divided equally into three parts. And then we're asking how much money will each of the siblings receive in all. So let's take $31.50 and divide it by 3. Pause the video while you do your work. Each sibling receives $10.50. Here's the next problem. Read it with me. Ava is 23 centimeters taller than Olivia, and Olivia is half the height of Lucas. If Lucas is 1.78 meters tall, how tall are Ava and Olivia? express their heights in centimeters. Okay, let's draw a bar for Lucas. And he's 1.78 meters, or 178 centimeters, tall. Since I know Lucas is, it says Olivia is half the height of Lucas. Lucas. 
so I'm taking a half of 178. Taking 178, dividing it by 2 to be able to get Olivia. Eight. Eight times two is sixteen. Seventeen minus sixteen is one. Bring down the eight. Eighteen divided by two is nine. Nine times two is eighteen, and eighteen minus eighteen is zero. Eighty-nine centimeters. That's how tall Olivia is. Now that I know how tall Olivia is, it says Ava is twenty-three centimeters taller than Olivia. Ava, her bar is 23 more than Olivia. Olivia, we already know, is 89 centimeters. So I put together 89 centimeters with 23 centimeters. We do what with those two numbers? Right, add them. 9 and 3 is 12, 2, regroup a 1. 8 and 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So Ava is 112 centimeters tall. Lucas is 178 centimeters tall, and Olivia is 89 centimeters tall. Okay, let me help you set up this problem. Mr. Howard can buy a computer with a down payment of $510 and eight monthly payments of $35.75. So not only the $510, but also eight monthly payments of $35.75. So we put that together, and we're going to compare it against him paying cash for the computer, which is $699.99. says, how much money will he save if he pays cash for the computer instead of paying for it with monthly payments? So, let's figure that out. $35.75 times 8. And we're still going to add that back with the $510. Then we can compare it with the $699.99. Do your work. Pause the video while you do your work. times 5 is 40, plus 6 is 46. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28. So he has to pay an additional $286 for the monthly payments, but also the $510 for the down payment. $796 compared to about $700, which we subtract this amount here, it would be $696 and one cent. So he ends up saving $196. Let's show that work. Six dollars and one cent. Okay, reading the problem together, Brandon mixes 6.83 pounds of cashews with 3.57 pounds of pistachios. After filling up six bags that were the same size with the mixture, he had 0.35 pounds of nuts left. What was the weight of each bag? Use a tape diagram to show your calculations. So, he mixes cashews and 6.83 pounds of cashews with pistachios, 3.57. After doing all this, <clears throat> he has a certain amount left. Let's see how much this is to begin with, his mixture. 6.83 plus 3.57. Thirteen, fourteen. How many bags did he have? Right. Six bags. 
So we take 10.4 and divide it by 6 with 0 0.35 left over. Left over. So 6 units plus the 0.35 equals 10.4. One unit is equal to 10.4 minus 0 0.35 divided by 6. So make sure to do the, that work as you're solving this problem. This is what you figure out here.